Hey folks, Ditno here. Today we're taking a look at the top base buildings for a group of players ranging from a duo to a full squad. Using existing buildings, it will allow us to create a group base with fewer fences than a freestanding structure. We'll be going over a number of buildings and discussing their pros and cons. This video was created on Vanilla Daisy with no mods, therefore the base should work on both PC and console. If you're new to base building, make sure to also check out my base building guide. I'll link that video in the description. This video is organized using the chapter feature, allowing you to quickly skip around the video by building. If you do find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Before we start, I quickly want to put things in perspective. As a group, defending your base will be a little bit easier than as a solo, but you'll have a bigger target on your back. It's always a good idea to explore additional storage options, such as stashing loot nearby in a buried stash, or by making a stick shelter in a nearby wooded area. You should approach base building as something fun to do, and keep in mind, most bases are temporary. I also suggest stashing items in more than one spot. If one stash gets raided, you'll have another stash to fall back on. Alright, with that said, let's hop into some base building. There are a few things you want to look out for when choosing a base. Any windows that can be easily accessed have a chance for tricky players to be able to crawl through them. If there is a weak point in your base that someone can take advantage of, always assume that someone's going to try to use it. In each of these bases I'm showing you, I'm only going to be making one layer of walls as a demonstration. If you want to make your base harder to raid, it is a good idea to consider additional layers of walls. Each additional layer of walls you make will make your base more difficult to raid. Starting off, we have what is labeled in the in-game files as the Cement Works Mill C building with large red doors. This base is a solid option for a group base with plenty of space for everything you need. You can block off the opening with just a few gates. You can also easily fit a truck as well as a number of tents. When you're done, you can close the doors and your base is hidden from the average player walking by. Next up, we have the large garage rows. These buildings are very common to find around Chinaris, so there's a good chance you'll find one near your favorite town to build in. One thing to keep in mind is you'll want to use this door as your main entrance, as this is the only door that opens all the way. The other doors only open about halfway, and you'll have trouble fitting a car in. This base is a little tighter on space, but still plenty of room for a car and additional storage. Moving on to one of my personal favorites, it's what I call the tin blue doors. One thing to note, you will need to block off all of the windows as tricky players can find a way to crawl through them. But as long as you make the top half of the wall, you can block off the windows and prevent players from crawling through them. One of the best features of this base is the top floor features a 360 degree view to defend your base from. You even get a back room as well. This is a solid option for a group base. Now we have what is labeled as Land Garage Big, often found in port cities and industrial areas. This building is massive and can easily be blocked off with three fences to get things started. You could easily fit multiple vehicles, tents, and other storage containers. This is ideal for a large group looking to make a massive base. Next up we have a building that is labeled in the files as Hall 2 Gray. Again, this one features a massive inside, but is a little awkward in the space layout. You have a large pitted area to place tents and other storage, as well as additional side rooms. You will need to block off the doorway on the inside with a wall. Also, the outside has a ladder that you should block off with a gate. The reason for this is the top floor has a set of windows that tricky players could potentially crawl through, it would be a long drop for them if they did squeeze through, but better to be safe than sorry. Moving on to Cement Works Hall Brick, which also has a massive inside with plenty of room for vehicles as well as multiple storage containers. Once again, you will have to block off the side door with a gate. There are also two ladders outside that you'll have to block off with corner gates. Never trust a window in Daisy, 
I believe it's better to be safe than sorry again and try to block them all off. Now we have the barn wood building, which is also a very common building. You can find these buildings in a variety of locations, with some locations being off the beaten path and can be decently well hidden. This building has plenty of room for storage and vehicles. The downside is there are some holes in the roof that you can't patch up very well with vanilla base building. And also the way the planks are set up, it's easy for nosy neighbors to peek through them. I still believe this is a solid option for a base, so consider checking it out. Next, I had to mention church buildings. These buildings can only fit a car inside and does not have enough room for a truck. There are no windows, which can be helpful to avoid snipers, but also you only have one opening to defend your base from. There is plenty of room inside for tents and other storage containers. This is a decent option, but as you can imagine, does not allow for as much customization as other buildings. Moving on to a building that I was reluctant to include, but I thought I should put it out there for those of you that dominate the server, the Tizzy Garages. As you can imagine, this is a tough one to defend, as it's in an endgame military base. If you and a large squad can manage to hold it down, you'll be the rulers of the base. Here you have plenty of room for multiple vehicles, tents, and additional room in back for barrels and crates. Lastly, once again, if you have seen my solo base building video, we have castles. The best approach to castles I find is to start small. For example, with this setup, you can make space for your car. Over time, you can start to barricade the rest of the parts of the base. So eventually you have gates and walls all around on all the doors in the castle, and you can claim the entire castle for yourself. All right, that covers the majority of easy buildings to make into a base as a group of players. If you have any buildings I didn't cover that you want to recommend, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, or you can hop into my Discord and say hello. You can find a link in the description by clicking show more. We also have a Nitno PC Daisy server where we hold fun events. We would love to have you as part of the community. If you'd like to see more Daisy videos like this, subscribe to the channel and snipe the like button. As always, have fun in Daisy. Take it easy. Peace.